Okay, so let's start with screen zero, which is the Facebook Connect. Actually, there is a screen before, which is the splash page. Basically, it's the screen which shows some animation, which probably will play some sound, um, mood me tune, thanks to Vito, our new sound engineer. So we load the app here. We go to a Facebook Connect, which is a must go through step, at least in our current thinking. So once you've done the Facebook Connect, so you've identified yourself, you get to a screen that it could be considered a gallery. We prefer to call it stream because it will be dynamic, but let's call it stream for the time being. So that's screen one. You basically select a face here. These are all faces um, of potential messenger to send your your voice message on. So once you've selected a face, immediately, automatically, you transition to this second screen, which is the screen where you have a big button, push to talk. You record your voice. Optionally, you will have the option to select, these are small emoticons, um, which will select the mood of the face that you've selected here. So select the mood, that's an option. There could be a default setting, which is already highlighted. So you can skip that, but you must go through the push to talk. You can always go back there. Um, once you have spoken for five seconds, and there should be like a, um, you know, a clock ticking, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Uh, once your time out, the five seconds have been recorded, automatically you transition to the screen from which you send. Uh, here you can again go back there to change your audio, but once you have done your five seconds, you get there, screen three. So what do you have here? A small window, which is um, basically a preview of the talking head. So that means the face you've selected here with the audio you've put here, we generate a small video here on the client side which is the face talking with your voice and the lip sync. We do that on the client, probably. That's still a question mark whether we are able to do it on client side, but we think so. So that will allow you to see have a preview of what you're sending out. To whom you're sending it out, you can select one friend only on your list of friends who have the app, your Facebook friends, if you, as you've done on Facebook Connect, and if you want to send it out to someone who doesn't have the app, which is the normal case in the, in the initial situation, you have a share button, which will be doing a little bit what you get in the, for instance, Dub Smash app, where you can send through WhatsApp. And it, actually, it's an airdrop. Um, it's a way to send out with airdrop, and you can select with airdrop uh, any of the different messaging applications that you may have installed and enabled. So going back here, so either you select to a friend in your Facebook list or a share mechanism and there you're in the airdrop context or the equivalent in, um, in, in Android, okay, that we still need to study. Um, once you've sent, so you click on a friend here, you loop back in the same screen, actually you don't leave that screen, you send it out probably there will be a sound associated to that, but you stay here so you can select another friend and send it out. The idea is to select only one friend and send it out rather than multiple uh, select, unselect, which can make you waste a lot of time and scroll up and down this list, which will grow as more and more of your friends start downloading the app. Initially, of course, this will be empty. No, none of your friends on the world have the app or, that's, or very few of them, okay? So that's to send. Now, going to the receiving, um, of course, if you received it through WhatsApp, what did you get? Actually, you got the video of the talking head and um, probably we can copy in the buffer just like Dub Smash does. You should try Dub Smash, and there are a few good things about this app that we really like. So you should be able to, when you share, copy in the buffer a link that you can immediately paste so that the friend who receives the video in WhatsApp or, or wherever else also get um, um, the hyperlink so that he can go directly on the, on the App Store. But that's in the case where the person receives through WhatsApp. If you receive it from the app, so you will have... Um, let's go into, into WhatsApp because let's not reinvent 
the wheel. Um, suppose you're in a, this screen here. This screen here should be exactly like your WhatsApp chats. So basically, at the top, um, at the top, you have the last one who sent you a talking head. Okay. So this is the screen you have. So basically, you have a thumbnail here of the the face of the your friend, your Facebook friend. And a thumbnail of the of the talking head. I don't see what else we need here. So it's simply one line per message, uh, last one on top. Then you select, just like you would be able to do that here. You can select um, one friend, and then you see you see the exchanges. So you are after selecting a line here. You go into the chat with that person, with the successions of talking heads that you have received or sent. So just like in, in, uh, in WeChat. Now, do we need another screen uh, to go and actually play the talking heads or can we play it here just like we can do uh, with a video, uh, for instance, here a video. Show me the money! That's... Um, Show me the money! A dub smash that has been received, so you don't really need to leave that screen Show me the money. to play it. Um, probably that's simple. Now from there, so whether we do the playing of the talking head here or in another other screen, what can you do? You can reply. So when you can reply, um, you can reply by selecting a face, adding a, your audio and then you skip the screen because you have already defined your destination so you select a face audio and it's gone so that's the reply option the forward option will take you immediately to this screen because you have already selected the talking head so it's simply about sending it to a destination and then the third option will be uh, sharing sharing which means putting a video uh, or five seconds in um, you know Facebook or Vine or what have you else okay um, and you can of course replay it um, until you get tired of it or your, to show it around to your friends so there will probably be a you know just like in YouTube a triangle to show that you can play an audio a video okay so that should be the flow of the app um, we are great artists as, as you can see so but it, the concept is there so i hope you understand um, and I, I i definitely hope you get back to me if you have any questions okay great